In this video, we are asked to find the equation of a line through the point 4, negative 5, and parallel to this other line, 2x minus 3y equals 6. The important piece of information we need to find to find the equation of any line is the slope. We get this from knowing that our line is parallel to this other line. Parallel lines have the same slope. So let's see if we can identify the slope of this other line, 2x minus 3y equals 6. The quickest way to do this is to put it in slope-intercept form by isolating the y. First, we must subtract the term that has no y's on it, 2x, from both sides. This gives us negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Finally, we can get the y alone by dividing each term by negative 3. This gives us y equals positive 2 thirds x minus 2. This is now in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. However, we don't really care what the y-intercept is. What we're looking for is what is the slope of this line. The slope of this line is 2 thirds. We want to be parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope, so our parallel slope will also be 2 thirds. We now know the slope of the line we're looking for. We were also given this point, 4, negative 5, that we want our line to go through. In order to get the equation that goes through 4, negative 5, and has a slope of 2 thirds, we must use the point-slope formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in what we know, we get y minus y1, which is negative 5, minus negative 5 is the same as adding 5, equals m, our slope, which we found out was 2 thirds because it was parallel, the same slope, times x minus x1, which is 4. We now have an equation of a line that's going to go through the point 4, negative 5, and it is also parallel to the other line, 2x minus 3y equals 6. We got this equation by first identifying the slope of the parallel line and recalling that s parallel lines have the same slope. Using that same slope in the given point, the point-slope formula gave us our equation.